What's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're taking a look at some more news, our daily news, our daily dose of news. And we are taking a look at McFarlane Toys yet again. They have released a load of pre-orders and a pre-look at a couple of their characters. Here is an early look at their new Green Lantern, which is pretty much the OG Green Lantern design. Uh, with a purple cape and the red shirt and the purple sort of um, disguise, I'm gonna call it, or the eyewear. Honestly, not a figure that I'm that desirable to get or that I think is that cool, but it's it's good for nostalgia purposes. This one is cool. I like this one. It is a character called Abyss, um, and I really like this one. This one looks cool. This one looks badass. I don't know much about the character, but his outfit is cool. He has the sort of neon mask, which I like. That's why I like the character from Watch Dogs so much, because of his sort of neon mask. I also like um, Cade Six because of his sort of mask and his sort of robotic design. He just looks cool. Um, but we also have Spawn, which is a pre-order, and it comes with a card like most of McFarlane toys do, but it comes with him and his throne, and it is a sort of drawing, or a black and white sort of, uh, it's a sketch edition, that's what it's called. Um, it is just a black and white version of him, and he does have his throne, it is like he's just been drawn into reality, um... All these figures have really good posability. You can move them at the hips, the elbows, shoulders, knees, ankles, neck. Um, and you can even move it halfway up the torso. Uh, but I'm not too interested in this one. Uh, Spawn is not one of the characters I'm too interested in. So I won't be getting this one, but I do like Abyss. Abyss did look cool. And I can't wait for like a full picture of him, not just a sort of teaser image. Moving on to... Um, this character, I forgot his name, it is the Anti-Monitor, I do believe, and the Anti-Monitor was in the Flash CW series, and he didn't look like this, this looks more of like a robotic sort of uh, design, he looks sort of like a Power Rangers villain, and I, I don't like that, I genuinely thought he was from Power Rangers, so I'm not too interested in this figure. Moving on to like the Bat Buster, it is basically the Batman's version of Hulk Buster, and it looks absolutely sick, it looks a lot better than the Hulk Buster in my opinion. It's got the bat sort of wing eyes that Batman sort of has on everything. He has like the backs, the bat ears on everything, and that is represented here. We have the bat logo and sort of batarangs on his wrist. And talking about Batman, we can't have Batman without Robin. So here is the new Robin figure. Um, very bright, very colourful. Normal Robin comes with his bow staff. It, I do believe this is the Robin before he turns Nightwing. Um, again, I don't know the names of all the Robins. Uh, Tim Drake, um, that's, that's all I got at the moment, uh, I do know them, just, I don't know which one to do what, uh, Jason Todd's another one, but, yeah, here's Robin, he does come with a little card, and all these figures do cost around £20, uh, 20 to £25, but that spawn pack will be about, like, 30 to 40 um, they're also doing a collaboration with Blizzard, another Blizzard one, um, but instead of it being... Diablo, they are going along the lines with World of Warcraft. Uh, I did w want this to be sort of an Overwatch collaboration because of Overwatch 2 and all the new heroes they're forgetting. Uh, but no, this is World of Warcraft, so we'll have a bunch of orcs, wizards, knights, um, dwarfs, dragons, demons, all that stuff. They're all blacked out uh, because it's like a sort of surprise of what we're getting. But, you know, if you play the game or watch the movie or just a, f a big fan of World of Warcraft in general, you will sort of know who you're getting by these silhouettes. These are also not action figures. These are like statues, statuette figures. Um, like what Mc... Uh, no, this is McFarlane video. What Van Prestro do for like anime figures. They're like statuette figures, uh, not action figures like we were just looking at before. Uh, and you can tell this by the base plate and the poses that they're in. Um, these will be, like, statuettes. Um, I have nothing against statuettes. Um, I think they're just as good as action figures. Um, action figures do have that posability going for them, but with statuettes you can get more detail in there without worrying about it affecting the sort of posability of a figure. Because uh, I have seen a couple of figures uh, be limited to posability because of the amount of detail that's on them. Uh, but even then, Hot Toys collectibles absolutely smash that out of the park, but they are very expensive, and they're a lot bigger than the normal 10-inch action figure size. Uh, normal action figure size does go from, like, 8-inch to 16-inch, uh, I do believe. 
But, you know, we have a couple of demons here and some winged creatures, and you can tell the statuettes because of the pole and all that. Um, but, sorry about my little rant about statuettes and figures there. Um, they're both as good as each other. I do have a couple of figures, I do have a couple of statuettes, um, you know, but I do have my preference of statuettes compared to figures, because figures do, with all their posability, they are more likely to break, and their uh, sort of joints will become weak over time, and um, they will snap off, and I've had that happen to me before, and it just pushes me towards statuettes a little bit more. But going back to the Batman Buster, I just want to talk about it a little bit more, because it does look so sick, and it's got a lot of detail in here, um, and this is a bigger sort of figure, so this will also be around the 30 to 40 pound mark, like the Man Bat and the Killer Croc one. It just looks so sick. Um, I didn't even know Batman needed a Bat Buster. Uh, I, I've never seen it in the comics, but I want to. I want to, I want to see it in, like, a movie. Can we have in the next Batman movie him going, like, a Bat Buster and absolutely fuck shit up as, like, fighting Killer Croc or Bane or Man Bat? Anyone, anyone, like... That's main power set is muscle. Can Batman make a Bat Buster and just absolutely fucking throw down? That would be so cool. Um, but yeah, that is a figure that I want and I think is really cool. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed this YouTube video. See you all next one. Have a nice day. And I won't be getting any of these figures except Abyss.